In the last few months, I've been uh, scheduling and doing a lot more instructor-led training on Adobe Captivate. And one of the things that I've discovered as I do a deeper dive into features that I, I may not use on a regular basis is that sometimes Adobe likes to change things or introduce new features without making a big deal about it. And of course, one of those features I discovered during the training was the Submit All feature. It's been improved. In fact, uh, on closer inspection, I've determined that it was actually improved in Adobe Captivate 2017, uh, and I only noticed it during uh, training of Adobe Captivate 2019. So, but anyway, here's the difference. So I've got Adobe Captivate 9 open on my desktop right now, and one of my older courses. And if you decided that you wanted to change your course from you know a single submit for each possible answer to a submit all question type quiz uh, where the user submits all their answers in one shot you would go into your edit drop down menu and into the preferences window which would open up and then of course in the quiz settings section you'll see a checkbox for submit all what's going to happen when i select this is that you'll first of all notice that the allow backward movement uh, is now grayed out because that's no longer a choice available to you. And you'll also have this submit all messages. And if I click on that, you'll notice that I can customize the message for when the quiz is complete, when the quiz is incomplete and I attempt to submit all. And um, if I wish to uh, have a submit incomplete message as well. So I can customize those three things, but that's it. If I click on OK, of course, the addition of the appropriate changes to those quiz buttons will occur. Now, if I go and look at the same thing in Adobe Captivate 2019, here's actually an updated version of that same course. And if I go down towards the end of my course where the quiz exists here, uh, I don't have to navigate, but I can just show you that I have a back and a skip and a submit button on each slide. And if I go into the preferences uh, dialog or window, and then underneath the quiz category, there's settings. And again, the same thing, I can check submit all. If I do that, same thing, allow backward movement is grayed out, so I can no longer turn that on or off. It's, it's basically on by default. And then my submit all messages. But take a look at this. I have actually a lot more control over the elements that are within those submit all messages. So in addition to the complete, the incomplete, and the submit incomplete, I also have the ability to change the dialogue title. So if I don't like the message submit all, I could put something else here. But in addition to that, I can relabel all of the different buttons that might appear for any of these particular dialogues. Of course, the advantage of that is for designing your training uh, to be truly customized to your organization, but also too, if you have localization uh, concerns, you can ensure that not only the messages are in another language or um, you know, another written in a in the tone of a different uh, region, for example. But you can also make sure that all the buttons have unique uh, words or uh, phrases used to uh, to cover all those differences that you might have with localization and different regions. So if I click on OK here and OK again, what's going to happen is that my captions, my feedback captions will change. I'll also get the addition of a submit all button replacing all the previous uh, submit alls. And here's what it looks like for those that haven't experienced this before. The idea being that of course a user can now uh, answer all the questions and then only submit it once they're, sh once they're satisfied with their choices. So here we go. If I go ahead and make a selection here and I hit submit all before I've answered all the questions, I'll get this message here. And again, I could customize the submit all title. 
I could customize the message that's written here. One or more questions is incomplete. Answer all the questions to continue. And I can even now customize the OK button here. So instead, what I'll do is I'll make my choice, hit Next, and I can continue through uh, all of the answers, making my choices as I see fit. And once I've gotten to the end of my quiz, I'll just take a look here. So here's the last um, question. At this point, I get a similar message. It's submit all. You've answered all questions. What do you want to do? I can return to the quiz because, of course, I can use my back button and my next button to go through and maybe make some changes because maybe uh, something in the, later in the quiz reminded me of a different answer earlier. And then once I'm truly ready, I can hit submit all. And then after the confirmation, submit all again and find out whether I was successful or not. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.